Hello, and welcome to this Untame screencast tutorial. Today, we're going to be going over how to create a 100% responsive blog post page using Bootstrap. It's the same sort of page that you might find all over the internet, and I'm going to show you today how to, use, how to do it using the Bootstrap framework. As you can see here, we kind of have all of our usual suspects when setting up Bootstrap. I have added a little bit of inline style just for the sake of this demo. We've linked up our bootstrap CSS style sheet as well as our responsive style sheet. We have our favicons, our navbar, and you should take note this is the responsive navbar that does the jQuery dropdown. We also have our container. And this is where we've started and we have also included a footer and then we've ended our container right here and we've linked up our carousel jQuery in the bootstrap JavaScript at the bottom but this is where we're going to take a start at if we view the page in the browser right now what we're going to see is just the bare bones of what we've started with before our navigation and our carousel and our footer. But we're going to need to nest in some blog posts to make this really run like we want to. So let's get started. We're going to start by getting rid of this comment and beginning our page with a, or our blog posts with a row, since really what we're doing here is nesting several divs inside of one master row. So we'll start out with the div of class row. Always comment at the end of your divs so you know what's going on whenever you look at the bottom of the page. Alright, so next we're going to create our post area or the kind of the main area, the main content area of our page. So I'm going to give that eight columns. Okay. That's done. And then we can add our first post. Now I'm going to copy and paste a little bit of the, of the post HTML right in here so you don't have to see me write at all. Alright, so let's talk through this. We've started our div with a class of post, and we have also included another row. It's important to include another row when you're going to be nesting more divs inside of a existing one. So in this case, we're inside of this span 8 area, but you can see here we're also nesting in a 2-span featured image and a 6-span details column. So we want to make sure and nest those correctly and that it all looks right. So let's see what this looks like in the browser. Bring this in and refresh. As you can see here, we have our featured image, our title, our content, and our button. And, oh, forgot to do that. Um, uh, the button is just a class of button with the class of pull right added to it. Within Bootstrap, if you add a class of pull right, all that does is simply float that element to the right. And in this case, it is the most right you can be within this span of eight. So let's take this and we can duplicate it maybe three more times. There we go. And we'll refresh to see if it broke anything. Nope, everything is still perfectly in line. There we are. Okay, now let's head over to the sidebar and make sure we have that correct. To begin on the sidebar, we're going to enter that 
directly after the main area, but before the row, since we're still working within this main row of our main content. So we'll keep that in mind. All right. Start with a or with a an aside. give that a class of span4. Okay. Make some room. And then we will begin an another row since again we are nesting divs within this. Let's just paste in our first widget. Perfect. Okay. So here is our first widget with a span 4. And this is going to equal out to the same area that this is because we've nested it within a row. And then we've given a widget a, uh, a widget title using the h3 tag which is in a lesser tag than the h2 tag since this is what we want the main um, emphasis to be on and these are just widgets so let's paste in two more of these and just see what the full thing looks like there's one with a ul and one more with an image and you'll notice that all these images are being um, linked from Lorem Pixel, which is a fantastic um, placeholder image service. I can't recommend it highly enough. In fact, let's go back and I can change up some of these. So we have our Sports 1, and that maybe Sports 3. And you'll see all these images change. Six. That'll do it. Now, let's see what this looks like in the browser. Bring all this over and refresh. So if we refresh one more time, we can see that we have gotten our images. And also, that everything should scale. So let's take a look at this and see what happens when we do go responsive. Go in, it looks pretty good, so that's maybe a tablet. That's maybe a smaller tablet, like a Kindle Fire or a Nexus 7. And then we're down to phone lane. So you can see, our slider still works, all of our images scale, and everything is pretty much exactly where we'd expect it and need it. Well, and that's it. How to design a responsive blog page using Twitter Bootstrap. Have any questions? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you.